and do something motivating. Learning this line is really important too. Off, go down here and then do this. Going down here actually makes it a lot harder because you gotta gauge your speed just right, no pedal. hands at the devil's, devil's workshop. A few more grab tricks. Uh, yeah, big line. Keep thinking that too with the blue shirt. I'm like, yeah, first time. It's like, because most people do backflips and they just don't tell anybody that they're going. The light is kind of messing with me, but I don't want that to be your excuse not to do the big line. Look at that sun. Sh sun shining through the moon. Yeah. Oh. She's in the car, I'd probably, probably go let her out, but she's not. She's walk watching a documentary on the couch. I've been like making hella fires lately, dude. Yeah. And then uh, blowing bowls out the chimney. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I think it. I think it's a good uh, odor mask here. <laughs> See how the fire going? And whenever Scarlett, the tenant, shows up, she's probably going to be pretty sad because the brother killed herself, killed himself for like a week ago. And it, I didn't realize it, but it's Suicide Prevention Week. Suicide Awareness, Suicide Prevention Awareness Week this week. Kind of messed up. You know, people, everybody crush change their sanity every once in a while. But, I don't know, dude, I feel like I'm going to get a man with a gun call pretty soon. Somebody's going to call on me because um, I've been, I got an, uh, a nice Glock that I like, um, that I've wanted for a really long time. And uh, so I've been using my concealed carry permit to the max. But there's been a lot of times where I'm like, you know, double shirt, because I got like the shirt on the inside of it, and then like, and it's like scratchy as fuck. And then I clip it in tuck it in the front, but it's still pretty bulgy, and when I'm like tucking it in, like there's been a couple times when I've seen people that have seen me take it off or put it on, like I was at the dentist the other day and a UPS guy just like walks right by and he like looks into my car and he's like, sees me taking a gun off myself and like putting it in the um, glove box, it's like kind of, kind of like, that's how man with the gun calls go down all the time, it's just like people don't know what's like what's what and they're too scared to card anybody somebody went into a wiku open carrying a pistol on their side and a bunch of people just freaked out and started taking cell phone pictures who's going to take cell phone pictures if you're really scared for your life it's not like they're going to get out of the line it's so hilarious and wiku stood behind the customer carrying the gun into their thing because they believe just because it is common sense that more people that are armed the more uh safe the uh, potentially the, uh, the populace is. Be, be, well, because, I mean, if there's some, I'm, I'm not gonna go get in between some beef at the skate park or something, but if somebody starts blasting away, I'm sure as fuck gonna possibly think about getting the fuck out of there and having, having that piece a little closer to me, you know? I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, get people to be into Second Amendment right if they're not into it, like, by all means, should outlaw bombs first. Yeah. It's on the docket. But yeah, there's all kinds of anti-gun bills going on right now. And so the end of the world as we know it is continuously happening. Not the end of the world, but the end of the world as we know it is a completely more logical, logical thing.
Well, once the dollar dies, I think that's going to be possibly a time that that you would be pretty upset. I would be really upset. I mean, depending on how much monetary things. If I had just spent all my money on on things that could actually like survival gear that could actually help me, like, and the monetary system goes down, I'm going to be probably pretty stoked. Versus having money that's not worth anything or having silver that might be a solid asset, you know. They've already, Anonymous has already told the world to start defacing your currency. So, it's, uh, it's, it's falling apart. They're going to crumble away the pieces. Once people know that the government isn't behind the money system, I think that's going to be the real awakening. It's a different company.